Governor Cuomo has signed what he is calling a first in the nation HERO Act into law. The law aims to permanently protect workers from diseases like COVID-19, but businesses say it's too much regulation. CBS 2's Andrea Grimes has more. I think this is a moment for celebration. A celebratory press conference from supporters just hours after Governor Cuomo signed the New York Health and Essential Rights Act, or HERO Act, into law. It permanently requires all private businesses to meet certain safety standards to prevent the spread of COVID and any future airborne diseases. What we did uh, with the passage of this law is save lives. It mandates the state come up with business standards for things like employee health screenings and PPE. Employers with more than 10 staffers must allow them to form labor management workplace safety committees. Staffers can sue if safety measures aren't followed. Fines go up to $10,000. All of this welcome news for employees like Maritza Ovales with the Nail Salon Workers Coalition. If we don't have the proper protection, she says, our lives are at risk, not just ours, but our families. But many in the business community oppose more regulations, including the Mansion Restaurant on the Upper East Side, which lost its beloved chef to COVID early in the pandemic. Owner John Phillips and others say reasonable protections are necessary, but this law is too much. There is an overreach. I mean, it is it is starting to look like the state wants to have a hand in running my business. We just need some time to breathe. These businesses have been in the worst time of their professional lives. The law does not include any funding for businesses to implement these requirements. Lawmakers say small businesses were taken care of in the recently passed state budget and in the federal stimulus. On the Upper East Side, Andrea Grimes, CBS 2 News. Now, lawmakers say they plan to introduce amendments, including giving employers 30 days to fix any issues that arise.